Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinker is here. So this is part two of 101 Hero Hot End troubleshooting and common issues that I see. I just did the one about how to tell if you need to clean your nozzle and how I do it. The cold pull and if you just can't feed filament through by hand when the door is open. Uh, this one's other common issues that I see being reported from hot ends, uh, people on Facebook and whatever. Um, so, a lot of issues, For this is specific for under extrusion issues and extrusion issues. Uh, the number one issue I see with people is moving too fast and uh, slips, layer slips. But anyways, this is specific to not extruding. Sorry about the light. I'm trying to get it so you can see, but I keep blocking it. Uh, so, common things to, to check on. A lot of it, if it's clean, I'm trying to point with this so you can see. If it's clean, the nozzle is clean and you're able to feed through. You're not extruding. So this is the knurled... Uh, crap, I just forgot what they're called. Uh, Hob, I call it a knurled hob. That's probably not the right word. I'm going to use that word for now. If I can remember it, I'll put it in the comments what they're actually called. Um, this is what it actually dries the filament. It's got a triangle or a diamond shaped pattern on it. It's not the best pattern for driving filament, but it actually works reasonably well for PLA, which is a rather stiff, resilient material. Uh, but couple things that I've seen reported this gold brass well it's brass gold colored brass piece here the knurled wheel hob whatever it's called uh, is not actually attached to the shaft of the stepper motor a uh, touch of super glue disassemble touch of super glue generally fixes that because it doesn't need to hold that well that super glue won't work uh, that's one issue another issue is this bearing here should roll I mean it should roll this is rolling as I touch it it's not spinning but it's rolling so you might need to take these four screws out and clean up this plastic from the door here because uh, it might be binding on the bearing. Uh, the bearing also has springs behind it, so if you can see that, it does go up and down. It should be up as far as the mold allows it within that housing, so it's quite, it's ooh, about the width of a 1.7, so about 2 millimeters above the plastic extrusion. Um, if it's not, you might need to take this apart with these four screws. There's two springs under there, under each side of the central uh, shaft that goes through this bearing. You might need to clean up the flashing. Just use an X-Acto knife. The springs might be too weak. You might need to stretch them. Someone else, uh, others also put cardboard behind these two springs just to lift them up and give them a bit more oomph. To push on it. Something very common are these screws uh, for the print head. They are extremely brittle. It's very easy to strip them out and they're also just machine screws. Not machine screws, sorry, sheet metal screws. They're, they're, they're the holes can get stripped out is what I'm trying to say that goes into the hot end. There's two solutions for that. One, I the way I did it was a two-part replacement door that you put the screws in one last time and then you have a part that comes down and actually has a slight ramp to where it goes behind these screws so it's going to hold everything in place. The other way that's much simpler is you drill a hole through the housing, through the door, through the other housing and put something like an Allen wrench through it to hold it together. So you push it 
install the allen wrench or rod of some sort and it holds it closed as it should be. Uh, I of course didn't think of the simpler way so I still like my printed method but uh, credit where credit is due it works perfectly well I just don't trust myself to drill on uh, something that thin and plastic and not screw up between all those those are the most common issues is this bearing either not spinning or not pressing against the filament I keep blocking my own light holy crap this bearing not spinning or pressing against the filament going through this spot here or if I feed it down through you'll see exactly where it's supposed to go if I feed the right end of the filament through that doesn't have a big old blob on it so, so the bearing presses against the filament in that path there right here So between those, those are the most common. Sometimes some people's uh, stepper motor are, has been dead. Some people have had issues where uh, other issues, it not heating up, but I'm not covering it at this time. I do have another video about heating issues and wiring and stuff like that from several months ago. But that is my things to check for the 101 Hero extruder specifically. Non 101 Hero extruders, ignore this because you don't need it. Anyways, uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering and uh, I'm on the Facebook 101 Hero unofficial group. Ask me questions if you need me. Uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering.